right when I saw her tapping, I, it's just the realization, you know, everything just falling into place, all that hard work and all those tears of joy was just basically, you know, oh, you're gonna make me cry again. <laughs> but I, I was just really happy to come out on the, the good side of things after the craziness that, you know, went on in my personal life. And so it's just a really good, a good feeling. <laughs> you feel like talking about any of what the fight before the fight was um, You know, there's just an, a numerous amount of things and, you know, it can take a toll on you, being a wife, being a, a mom, being a fighter. And sometimes it's, it just gets very overwhelming, life, obviously. With her being over on the scale, how much did that concern you? For me, weight is something that I take very serious because I, I have struggled with it in the past. So when it's time to make weight, we're in the UFC, we should be professional, we should all be coming in at weight or under. And for me, I take this very serious and, you know, I don't think there's any excuse to being five pounds, 5.5 over in your first UFC fight. And it's it kind of just made me a little insulted, you know, like I really, this is, you know, my dream. So that's how I felt. Her being overweight, I'm not worried about her being heavy. I would fight her if she was at 150, you know, I really don't care. But just in that aspect, I felt like it was kind of disrespectful. You know, at one point there was, you know, something about the commission in Nevada. There's a rule that you can't be 5.5 over. And, you know, that was in the air. And I was really, really upset because I had a big crew that flew in here for me. My family all are very, very supportive. I'm so grateful. And, you know, that, that was what was laid on the table. And, you know, I'm grateful she, we were able to work something out. She lost that extra 0.5 and the fight was on, you know. My daughter is here. She's in the stands all decked out. And I, I could see them from in the cage. They're so loud. <laughs> so um, it was really awesome. I got, you know, I love to bring her around with me everywhere in the tough house. She, I, you know, I didn't get to see her for six weeks. I, of course, I was going to get that money and make sure she was here. <laughs> there was a moment right before the fight. The referee appeared to say something to you. And I think you said thank you to him. What was he saying? Uh, everyone is really so nice, the staff, everyone, you guys. And uh, what he said to me was, it's really an honor being able to be in the ring with you. And, and to me, like, I just wanted to cry right there. It's an honor for me to be with you guys, so. But the Wonder Woman costume, you've always worn it, mm -hmm. has meant something to you, obviously. Yes. What was it like to have to come in and not have that? Well, I actually have it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of, you know, sad, I guess. Like I said on the show before when I was fighting for Invicta, they asked me, uh, what does that mean to you being Wonder Woman? And it's not really like me. I don't really think I'm Wonder Woman, but it's more of a mental mentality for me. Um, there's so much things, roles I have to play in this life. And uh, I feel like, you know, like even yeah, I, I wonder how I do it. <laughs> and um, it's like Wonder Woman, she's empowering, strong, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And that's how I like to feel. So whether I'm wearing the costume or not, you know, I still feel uh, like a very empowered woman, Wonder Woman, if you must. So, yeah.